Welcome to a brief tutorial on the features of Precision Seating Solutions PS256 Pressure Mapping and Imaging System. This tutorial will walk you through the features and settings of the PS256 and may be used in conjunction with our follow-up tutorial on clinical application, which is also available on our website www.pressuremapping256.com. Let's get started. Refer to the installation instructions which were included with the system for details on software installation if needed. Following software installation you will see this screen. Place the mat on the surface to be examined and set the client on top of the mat. When the pressure is placed on top of the mat a series of colors will present as you see here. Similar to Doppler radar as you would see on your local weather station, red and hotter colors indicate areas of higher pressure. Blue and other cooler colors indicate areas of lower pressure exertion. First, it is important to ensure the interpolation feature is selected. This feature will provide the user with the most ideal color blend resulting in the best image. Generally, this feature remains selected while the system is in use. The peak value scale, located on the left of the software screen, is a fully adjustable value scale which will adjust the color scheme of your display accordingly. As this peak value scale is adjusted, you will notice changes to your color scheme. If the peak value slider bar is slid to the left, the peak value number on the top of the slider bar will decrease and an increased area of redness and hot coloration will appear. If slid to the right, the peak value number on the top of the slider bar will increase and an increase in cooler colors will be noted. This feature allows the user to identify where he or she would like the red graphic display to start. If the slider bar is set to 125, then any reading which is found to be over 125 millimeters of mercury will present in red. Be sure to refer to our clinical application tutorial for details on the benefits and applications of this feature. Now when I have the peak value scale set at, for example, 124, I know that anything above 124 millimeters of mercury is going to be displayed in red. But I don't know if that red display is indicative of 125 millimeters of mercury or 300 millimeters of mercury. To identify the specific amount of pressure which is being exerted on any portion of the mat, move your cursor to the upper left hand side of the software screen and select the peak pressure feature as you see here. When this feature is selected you will first see a peak pressure display in the center of the mat with a reading in millimeters of mercury. This display is indicating the amount of peak pressure being identified at any point on the mat and is continually updated via live feed. If the user would like to identify the amount of pressure being exerted within a certain area, for example over an ischial tuberosity, they may incorporate two fully adjustable peak pressure boxes simultaneously on the system. To provide the first peak pressure box, move your cursor to the image, click and drag with the left mouse button to create a box as you see here. Above the box you will see a peak pressure reading which is indicative of the highest amount of pressure being exerted specifically within the area of that box. To place a second peak pressure box, use the same technique with the right mouse button and an additional peak pressure box will be placed again displaying the peak pressure identified within that box. If the user would like to know the reading of each individual sensor on a rolling basis, select the box next to the cell pressure selector tool on the left hand side of the screen. This will turn on a feature which will identify the pressure each individual sensor is reading on a continually updating basis. This feature may be used in conjunction with other features we've previously spoken of. To turn off, deselect the box. 
Above the peak pressure selection tool, on the upper left hand side of the screen, is the center of mass selection tool. When selected, you will see a small white box with a black outline pop up on the display screen. This white indicator identifies on a continually updating basis the location of the client's center of mass. A variety of uses for this feature are discussed in our clinical application tutorial, including several ideas for implementing the PS256 into a billable treatment plan. To turn the center of mass feature off, deselect the box next to this tool. A distance tool is also helpful with clinical application and evaluation. When the distance tool is selected, simply click and drag the left mouse button to take a linear measurement on the display screen as you see here. With the linear display feature in effect, a linear distance will be measured in both inches and centimeters. Below the peak value scale are three additional slider bars which are used to rotate the image. This is often needed to place the image in a perspective which is relative to the client sitting upon it. Or in some cases uh, of clinical application, when incorporating the PS256 into billable treatment, this feature is often necessary to provide the user with an image appropriate in relation to how the client is sitting. Oftentimes, this is also helpful to create an appropriate image for letters of medical necessity. An additional rotation option is available by, select, by simply placing your cursor on the image itself. Left click with your mouse and drag the mouse in the direction you would like to rotate the image. As you drag the image to rotate it, you will notice three rotational slider bars to the left continually adjusting their X, Y, and Z axis readings accordingly. To reset the rotational feature back to the original display, click on the Reset XYZ button in the lower left hand corner of the software screen. As you can see, the rotational view will return back to neutral when this is selected. In addition to the use of its features, it's important to be aware of how to record and document your findings. On the right hand side of the software display screen, several options for recording a frame and recording a data movie are present. To pause the display at any given point in time, perhaps to grab another clinician for an additional set of eyes on a client or for any needs that you find, click the pause button on the right hand side of the screen. When this is paused, despite the fact the client is still moving on top of the mat, this will freeze the current frame. It will not save that frame, it will simply pause that frame for a brief moment in time. When the pause button is again selected, that frame will revert back to its live feed. In order to record a frame, Simply click on the record frame option located on the right hand side of your software screen. When you click on record frame, it will ask you, much like saving a Word document, where you would like to file this frame image and what you would like to name it. If we name this test frame and click on save, it will save that snapshot that we currently see as an image file for use with letters of medical necessity, for documentation, or for purposes at your discretion. Now to record a movie, same concept. You'll click on the record movie button over here on the right hand side of the software screen. And again, it will ask you where you would like to save the movie which is about to be recorded. Provide it with a name click on save and as soon as you click on save the recording process will begin. On the right hand side of the image you'll notice that now the the record movie button has changed to a stop button and below the stop button you will see a record timer. This is indicative of how long this recording will be uh, is being taken and when you're through recording simply click the stop button and th that movie will be saved in your files.
We also provide a continual reading of overall pressures, pressures within the selected areas, and the amount of contact area being exerted on any given point in time. Again, please refer to our clinical applications tutorial for more information on the benefits of said pressures. Thank you for visiting Precision Seating Solutions feature tutorial on the PS256 pressure mapping system. Be sure to visit our clinical tutorial to explore the multitude of ways the PS256 can be implemented into your clinical assessment, evaluation, and billable treatment plans, and learn some original outside-of-the-box applications for pressure mapping as well. For additional details or for more information on today's tutorial, please feel free to contact us anytime on our website, www.pressuremapping.com pressuremapping256.com